The patient is sitting with his legs hanging over the lateral side of the bed. While assuming the patient's right position semicircular canal is being overexcited, the apparent failure is the left canal, the health professional lays him down on the patient's right side. The head is turned to the left at 45 degrees. A pause of 30 seconds is given, or they wait until the nystagmus is over. Then the head is turned 45 degrees more to the left. At that moment, the patient is looking at the ceiling. After a pause of one minute, or until the nystagmus ends, the head is turned to the right side at 180 degrees, so that he looks down at the ground. After a pause of one minute more, the patient is brought to an upright sitting position. Whenever the left posterior semicircular canal is affected, the maneuver of Simon is performed to the left, as shown. The rehabilitative maneuver of Epley is equivalent to the Simon's rehabilitative maneuver. Let's demonstrate the Epley maneuver whenever the right posterior semicircular canal is affected. The patient is sitting on the bed with his legs stretched. The health professional lays the patient on the bed, his head turned 45 degrees to the left and a bit hyperextended off the edge of the bed. After one minute's time, the head is turned 135 degrees. Given the time for nystagmus, if any, to be over, the patient is told to bring his legs hanging out of the right side of the bed. Finally, he is brought to an upright sitting position, with his head turned 45 degrees to the right and flex it so that his chin is leaning on the chest. The rehabilitative maneuvers of Simon and Epley are repeated for a maximum of three times. If successful, the nystagmus disappears and the patient does not report dizziness. To rehabilitate the overexcited left lateral semicircular canal, the apparent failure is on the right side, we perform the barbecue maneuver. In practice, it is a step-by-step -step 300 degrees clockwise turn of the whole body, the head moving in advance. While the patient is lying supine, the head is turned to the right at 90 degrees. Every following movement takes place upon the health professional's command after about one, two minutes pause or until the nystagmus, if any, is over. He is then requested to lie over his right side. He then turns to the right at 90 degrees more until the face is directed to the plane of the bed. Thereafter, he is requested to lie in a prone position. The head is turned to the right at 90 degrees. And again, the patient is requested to lie on his left side. To finalize, the head is turned to the right and the patient returns to the supine position while completing a 360 degrees clockwise turn from the stretched position.